Let's read Psalm 128 together. It says, Blessed is every one that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands, happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house, thy children like olive plants round about thy table. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that feared the Lord. The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion, and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yea, thou shalt see thy children's children, and peace upon Israel. So in this, in this passage, he talks about the person who fears the Lord, the person who is willing to obey God's will, the person who will to submit to what God tells them to do. Obedience. He's talking about obeying what God has. So fearing the Lord and walking in his way bring about blessing. We see this in verse 1. It says, blessed is everyone. It's a guarantee if you follow God, if you fear the Lord and are willing to walk in his ways, you will, blessed is that man. It will happen. Now, we don't get to decide what the blessing is. Don't misunderstand that. We, we don't get to decide, okay, if I follow God, I'm going to get a Ferrari. That's not how it works. It means if you follow God, God will bless you, but he is the one who chooses how you are blessed. So, obedience brings about blessing. We're going to see in verse 2, it could be blessings at work. Read verse 2 again with me. It says, For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands, happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. This is talking about the working environment. The fact that he worked for, this person worked for his food, and because he was serving God, God is going to provide for it, and he's going to be happy about it. He's go, his job will provide for him, and he will be happy in his work. Look at verse 3. Verse 2, we saw blessings at work. Verse 3, blessings in your family. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Thy children like olive plants round about thy table. He's going to bless your family. If God gives you children, that's a blessing. They will be, your wife will be fruitful and it will be as olive plants around your table. An olive tree, the way it grows is it drops its little seeds and they grow up all around the olive tree. That's what it's saying. They'll be like an olive tree. Your children will grow up around your table. Look at verse 4. We'll see that there will be blessings for you individually. Behold that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. The first two, it was kind of about work and then about his family. This one is for that man, for you, for the man, for the one who is obeying God, who is submitting to God's will. For that person, the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. There will be that blessing that will come. Verses 5 and 6, The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion, and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yea, thou shalt see thy children's children, and peace upon Israel. These are, this is blessings for your future. He said he's going to give the blessings from Zion, and he's going to have, you're going to see your children's children, and peace upon Israel, upon your land. So you're going to live long enough to see the blessing that God has given to your land. You'll live long enough to see your grandkids. These are the blessings that God can give to the person who is willing to follow in his ways, and to fear him. Seeing your descendants live in peace. All because you chose to live in the fear of the Lord. You choose to obey God. Now say it again with me. Because obedience brings about blessing. I'm ready to jump when God calls. We heard that all throughout camp. And I believe it worked in our teens lives. Because when God spoke, that phrase came to mind every single time. Because it's easy to make excuses. It's easy to say, ah, not now. Like Steve was saying, ah, I'm not ready. I'm afraid. God has an answer for it every time. I'm ready to jump. I kept telling our teens, I love that it's jump and not I'm ready to take a step when God calls. Because if I'm taking a step, I can stop and take it back. A jump, once you jump, you're, you're going to land. You're going down. So I'm ready to jump when God calls. So throughout this summer in the Psalms, I challenge you, be ready to jump when God calls you to.